Chapter 297 Albert was extremely frightened, but he was also very furious and angry at this time. He had gotten beaten up in the convention and exhibition center that he owned, and he even had to kneel and apologize to the person who had beat him up. Most importantly, he was beaten up and humiliated in front of Emma. This was the biggest humiliation that he had ever suffered in his life. However, Albert knew that he could not afford to provoke the Lane family. Therefore, he could only curse at Alex in his heart. He felt that all of this had only happened because Alex was the one who had challenged him to touch the car. As a result, he had been beaten up and humiliated in front of Emma. He had to exact revenge on Alex. He had to make him pay for what he had done today. At this time, Tom quickly ordered the security guards, okay, stop beating him already. The security guards stopped hitting him immediately. The security guards working for the convention and exhibition center had already been badly beaten up, and they were all lying on the ground. Alex stared at Albert who was sitting on the ground and smiled as he said, Mr. Warner, it seems as though you really have no way of touching those two cars at all. Right then, Albert hated Alex to death, and he honestly did not expect him to continue provoking him at this time. Albert glared at Alex as he cursed, Alex. You are the reason why I am suffering this humiliation today. I will make sure that you pay for this. Alex smiled as he replied, What? Did I do anything wrong? After that, Alex looked at Emma who was standing next to him before asking, My dear wife, please tell me whether I did anything wrong? Emma felt a little embarrassed at this time because she was placed in a tough spot. She had indeed been very annoyed and angry when Albert was ridiculing Alex earlier. However, she truly did not expect things to turn out like this. The reason why she did not lose her temper at Albert earlier was simply that she was hoping they could still collaborate on the refurbishment of the exhibition center. However, Emma was filled with disgust when she finally saw Albert's true colors. Therefore, she looked at him seriously before she said, Mr. Warner, you were the one who started provoking Alex in the first place. You were also the one who insisted on touching the car, and that is the reason why you got beaten up. What has this got anything to do with Alex? I hope that you will be able to tell right from wrong and stop causing trouble for Alex. When Albert realized that Emma was also filled with resentment and looking down on him, he glared at Alex, gritting his teeth as he yelled, You useless piece of trash. I will teach you a lesson. Alex looked at him in shock as he asked, What did you call me? Albert replied, I called you a useless piece of trash. Are you deaf? At this time, Christiana, who was standing at the side, also chimed in and said, Alex, you are nothing but a useless son-in-law who is living off his wife and her family. You should be glad that Mr. Warner is only calling you a piece of trash. Alex was not mad at all. He simply smiled before saying, You said that I am just a useless piece of trash, but it seems as though you cannot touch those two cars at all, even getting beaten up because you wanted to do so. Why don't you tell me who is truly the piece of trash? The crowd of people burst into laughter as soon as they heard Alex's words. The expression on Albert's face was extremely ugly at this time. Gritting his teeth, he said, Don't act as if you will be able to touch the cars if you want to. Why don't you show me whether you will be able to touch the cars? Albert thought that he would be the one fooling Alex this time. If Alex fell for his trick and tried to touch the cars, he would certainly get beaten up as well. When that happened, Albert would be able to save a little bit of face for himself. However, Alex unexpectedly replied very calmly, What is the point of simply touching the car? Would you like me to test drive the car for you instead? Ha ha ha. Albert sneered immediately. Test drive? Who do you think you are? You are just a useless piece of trash and you actually think you will be able to test drive those cars today? If you could even touch the doorknobs on the cars, I will admit defeat immediately. Albert was not afraid to challenge Alex because Tom and his men were all guarding the cars anyway. If Alex actually tried to touch those cars, he would certainly get beaten up too. 
Alex smiled and pointed at the Ferrari 250 GTO in front of him before he asked Emma, wife, would you like to take this car out for a drive? If you want to, I will bring you on a drive right now. As soon as she heard Alex's words, Emma hurriedly pulled him aside before whispering, Alex, what are you doing? Do you really want Mr. Warner to win? At this time, Albert struggled to stand up before sneering at Alex. Alex, what are you trying to prove? Do you even know anything about this car? Did you know that there are only 77 units of these cars in the world and that none of them are available for sale in the market? You are dreaming of driving this car when my dad has not even sat in this car before. Alex shrugged as he replied, this is my car. Why can't I take it for a drive?